What I liked about the panel is, is it got broken into some different sections. The first is, should we do it? And what's nice is that there is some guidance and there are some different things that you can do and checklists to go through to determine if it's appropriate. The second part was once you decided to do it, how do you do it? And this was looking at it from kind of an administrative side. What is due diligence? How do you look at the overall systems? How do you make it compliant with your own organization? The issue of data protection. And then we talked a bit about what it is in the future. I guess my biggest takeaway was one of the questions that came from the audience. They had asked about fear of cash. And it's a very, very valid point. I've never gotten in compliance trouble with a government for distributing a blanket. But when you're talking about cash, when you're talking about cash and whose hands it gets into and how it's used, it is a new area that we fully don't understand. But what was great was the way the panelists responded. These were people who knew a lot about the cash industry and how it worked with humanitarian response. And they talked about how they haven't seen the evidence case for cash being more risky than in-kind contributions. That was something I didn't know and I'm glad I know now. I, I like the event, I like the audience. So one of the panelists asked in the beginning for the last session, who's in the audience? We had service providers, we had the private sector, we had humanitarian organizations, we had policy people, and we also had people that were representing various governments. It's that mix, it's kind of it's interesting that with the World Humanitarian Summit and the Sustainable Development Goals, what is the big agenda? And that's being able to bridge the humanitarian and development divide. And that's what AIDF does. It brings together a lot of different players from different backgrounds and talk about interesting issues. So as long as you guys keep on doing that, then I think it'll stay interesting.